Up problems for both defenses. Desiree Young will be taking it into the post, high post this time, going down low baseline and taking it up and one. UNLV will be finally getting on the scoreboard tonight for Kiara Jackson now on the other side of the wing, taking a three, and that is good. That's the first three for UNLV as they go up six to three. Looking over for Brianna Gillen, and that's a shot from one of the Warren sisters, and that's off, and that will be rebounded for Young. Frescos taking it up the court on a fast break, passing it to Kiara Jackson. She's got a lane, she's got a fast break, and that's a layup, that's good for UNLV. Kiara Jackson can't get the easy transition handoff, and will pass up to James. James taking, driving, looking. Back to Young. Young drives easy left, and that is an easy two-point layup for the UNLV Rebels right there. Keeps it. Goes back over to, to Jackson, and Jackson cuts down to Alyssa Brown on the cut, and that is a beautiful play by them, too, with the pick and roll. Brianna Gillen will take the ball up and will take it to the top of the wing. We'll see what Utah Tech can do as it's been a close game, and there's a turnover right there. What's something that UNLV has done these last few years, Wyatt, that just kind of you know, adds to the winning pedigree of this uh, of this organization as it's a huge three from Scoggin. She's not even that tall compared to these other girls out here, like Desiree Young, who's six foot one, or Nicole Willardson on her own team, who's six foot four. And that will be a pass to, that is, I can't tell. That's my bad, Obi Izor will get the rebound off the turnover though. And that's gonna be a pass to Desiree Young. She's gonna be low post. She's scanning, gives it out to Lop. Lop, three, wing, bang! And that's a massive move for UNLV. And that's the first bucket for UNLV in this quarter. Getting it down low and then kicking it out again, making sure to get the ball movement. And the ball movement will not work for Utah Tech. That's a steal and that's Scoggins for the layup and that's fast break, that's fast break basketball for UNLV right there. Desiree Young getting posted up low. Pass out to that corner for Scoggin. Scoggin does a little pass fake and gets to the layup lane, and that is good for Scoggin. Gets off the wing, down low to Desi. Desi from the top of the key, down to Scoggin, other wing, and that's going to be a three. That's good for Scoggin. And Utah Tech reverted back to the 2-3. They show, they bump, and the ball moved perfectly to open up that shot for Scoggin there. Great job. That's a steal from UNLV. They're on the fast break now. Lop taking it, looking. Going to take it herself, floater, and good. Good. Fast break play from UNLV. As we're gonna get Gillen at the top of the key, and Gillen trying to get something to work. Jackson playing good defense all over. Jackson with the fast break steal. As Brown taking it, looking for Scoggins. Scoggins deep three, and that's off from the rim. Gonna be passing it back out to Frescos. Frescos another three, and that one's good. UNLV doing really well on the offensive board tonight. It's now a 10 point game. Off of the miss from Gillen. UNLV off the fast break and Brown takes it, blocked, down low. Brown back up with her own with her own rebound and good. What is the advantages and disadvantages why of not running it versus running it this year? One of the biggest things about running it is you cause that pressure, you cause them to move quicker. Great three there by Ashley Scott. You have people get too old and they move on from your organization. You just have to move and change your defensive schemes as Prescott takes a three and that's good. We're gonna have James with the ball, looks over to Young. Young, scanning down low for Brown. Brown's not gonna get it, it's gonna go to Frescas in the corner. Frescas for three, and that's good. You know me, three. We're seeing blow for blow here. Let's see who's gonna give it up first. Young tries to take it, tries to answer with her own. Mid-range, and that's good. This is a back and forth slug fest right now to start this quarter. As Young gets it, swings it back over to Jackson. Jackson with Frescas to her right and getting the screen to her left. Frescas top of the wing, pulls the three. And that's good. And that's a confident shooter right there from deep. Kimson comes in for James on UNLV. Brown with the pass top of the key. Desiree Young sees a, a lane and takes it. She gets her own offensive rebound and up and good. That means someone else has to be open and she found her. Brown top of the key looks down for Young. Young passes out to Kimson. Kimson open three. Good. You can't write this bit better. Again, it happens on the exact play after that. She got caught lacking, staring at the ball in her defender. In her and the defender uh, came up short there. Dizzy Ray Young on a fadeaway, and that's good use of the glass. The bank is open. Kimson looking. Got Brown on top of the key. It's gonna go to, it's gonna go to Young. Young down low against Willardson. Young takes it up and in. That was way too easy for Dizzy Ray Young. It's an ISO for Kimson. Setting the screen from OBI Izor. OBI Izor drives. It's gonna be passed out to Jackson. Jackson, three. Good. Good over another three. Kimson looking, scanning. Brown sets the screen. Kimson to the right, drives, passes out to Jackson. Jackson up and in. Last second shot off the shot clock right there. 
looking. Desiree Young is going to order to the scorer's table to check in. Kimson driving to the right side, takes it up and in. Desiree Young with the rebound, and she will push tempo. Desiree Young is two rebounds away from her 38th. Uh, three for Scoggin. She's on fire. Jackson out in the wing has 6 5 4. Three, two, Scoggin's corner open. And it's off, tipped up and in. That is good, it seems like, for Desiree Young. Desiree Young's wide open down low, but no one saw her. Desiree's flashing, trying to get the ball, got the top free throw line, and that's OBI's or down low. Beautiful passing. And of course, UNLV being such a dominant team as they are, it's not a bad thing if you lose to them. Especially with a team like Utah Tech is a three for Prescott. Lady Rebels move the ball really well and continually moving the defense and making it harder on them, putting them on, the hero, on their heels. Stoggins with the steal, pushing the break. Down to Aneka. Aneka with the easy layup, and that's an easy bucket for UNLV. Jr. Jackson with the offensive rebound with four Utah Tech defenders around her. Over to OBI's, OBI's are three. Bang! UNLV, massive possession. <laughs> Coach LaRock. Even with such a massive lead, still not happy with nothing easy. Yeah, Desiree Young with the steal. She's pushing the pace. Fast break up and draws the foul. And with that expectation comes a lot of fiery opponents, especially with the Mountain West. They have a lot of heated rivalries, including UNR. They're taking on a tough loss tonight. And something that a lot of teams struggle with is taking those hard losses in the beginning of the year and losing confidence. And what's something that Utah Tech should take out of this game? Kimson has the ball. They're going to try to milk this clock as much as possible as UNLV just staying around, getting as many offensive rebounds as they want, it feels like, this game. 